This is the 2 inch extreme lift kit for 2011. I looked on the web to uh, try to get some info, any tips or anything about putting it on, but I really didn't find anything. But when I got it, really wasn't that hard. Uh, gave me a little over uh, two inches of lift, but I also uh, screwed my shocks in a little too. When you get the uh, instructions, it's pretty. It, it tells you how to do it. There's really not hard at all. It's all on the top. Nothing on the bottom. Just from the factory there. And this right here is. Uh, you can look and see how I got it mounted here. And you can see the little U-bolt here in the back that holds these braces up, these brackets. And I'll go to the other side and just, on the front, it's a, there's a bar going all the way across. I'll show you the other side. Uh, basically the same thing. There's your U-bolt going around the frame there. Okay, let's look at the back. Now what I did, <clears throat> I took the front sh shocks all the way off. And when I took them off, I did, I did tighten up these, uh, you know, the springs to give me a little extra lift. Not, I went about halfway. And on the back, it's not required that you take the shock all the way off, but I did anyways, just so it'd be easier to tighten those springs a little bit. The hardest part is the back because of those little U-bolts right there. There's four of them. I get washers, and they're just hard to tighten because you can't really get a, you can't really get a ratchet on them. Some on the other side too, and in the and then the instructions, the bracket didn't look like this. I had two, uh, one U bolt per side, and it didn't have the room for the extra U bolt that's on this. And again, you know, stock at the bottom, but that's where I ran into a problem <clears throat> is when uh. If you do take your shock off the bottom, you don't have to, but if you want to make it a little easier to tighten your springs up, there's a bushing. Maybe it's two. But in the bottom, that will fall out <clears throat> when you take your shock off. Or somewhere along the way. Because uh, I had one fell out of this and I had it all back together and I, I noticed that little bush and I said, where did this go? And come to find out it, it, it come out of the shock. So, watch for that. And that's about the only thing you got to really watch for. And I'll show you quickly the other side, which is the same too. And it's a little hard to get to U-bolts. And now what I did have too was an extra an extra bolt that come with a package. Well two actually, one for each side, but this. Some kind of spacer and another bolt, and I, I'm not sure what that's for. I didn't need it, so everything works great on it. But, uh, that's, the, that's what I wanted to show y'all, in case uh, anybody out there is doing it themselves. There's a little quick video of it. Good day.